There's a way you can honor the lives lost in the terrorist attacks and help local police and fire departments at the same time. Dead Dog Saloon in Merle's Inlet is holding its annual Heroes Benefit today. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith joining us live there with a preview. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Yes, this is such a great event and such a great way to come out and support your community, show the first responders how much they mean to them. I mean, they put their lives on the line every day for us. Yeah, they certainly did for us about a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. you bet. Yeah, yeah, you guys know firsthand how that is. Now, talk about this event you started 12 years ago and it just gets bigger and bigger every year. Yeah, this was really the brainchild of my dad. Um, he kind of came up with uh, the concept that after the attacks in New York back in 2001, that people wanted a place to kind of gather and remember. Um, so it started off. Uh, the next year, we've had it every year since, and 12 years later, we're still raising money for local local heroes. And you guys have raised what more than 150 thousand dollars? We're that right? right there. We're hoping we're hoping to cross that threshold this year. So okay. we, we almost made it to 20 thousand last year, and if we can do that again this year, then we'll, we'll break that 150 number. That's great. Yeah. Well, you guys give out free food, and then you know you hope that people come and donate. Uh, you have a, a lot of uh, raffle, 50/50 raffles. Yeah. You've got. Silent auction items. You've got some items right here. Um, I'm totally into this purse, so yeah. uh, I can tell you right now I'm going to be off putting some money after that. <laughs> and then, hey, look at this, some Carolina and Company uh -huh. koozies. Now that right there is worth a lot. I want everybody who comes through these is doors. Is that Cecil right there? To, yeah, yeah, all of it. Yeah, it's a, yeah. a Cecil bobblehead, too. <laughs> How can you not come to this event? I mean, you can get some koozies and a Cecil bobblehead, you know. Priceless. <laughs> but yeah. it really is a good event, so we encourage you to come out. It goes all day long, guys. I still don't have a Cecil bobblehead. Well, there you go. Yeah. We'll have to go to the event <laughs> and bid. Doors open at 1 o'clock this afternoon and features live music and a free all-American buffet. Yeah, and Amanda touched on it, but there's going to be live auctions, silent auctions, that 50-50 drawing, and all proceeds benefit local police and fire departments. Today's anniversary especially hits home for many firefighters and for those in law enforcement. Well, today's annual event at Dead Dog Saloon in Merle's Inlet gives our community the chance to come together and help out local police and fire departments while honoring the victims of September 11th. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth joins us live with the details. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. It really is an outstanding event here at Dead Dog Saloon. You guys have put this together for 12 years now. The community comes out, a ton of people come out, and uh, you know, there's live music playing, there's a lot of first responders who come out here. Oh yeah, firefighters will be out here in, in large numbers, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. And then. You guys give out free food. Free food. Uh, it's a community event, and part of it's the business community. They don't, we get all the food donated, so we run a free buffet all day, featuring all American food, hot dogs, burgers, fried chicken, low country specialties like chicken bog and stuff like that. Yeah, so a lot of stuff. Yeah. So we're cooking this morning, and this uh, is one of my personal favorites right yeah, here. This, this is actually. <laughs> The, might not be served today, but... Um, these won't be served today, but these seem to be everyone's favorite. Uh, these are our tender bites, kind of our take on sliders. It's a uh, sliced filet mignon on top of garlic toast. Those are going to finish cooking there in just a minute. And then a couple secret ingredients that we'll talk about in just a moment. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you used the word sliders and filet mignon in the same sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't really go together, does it? Not really, but no. they're kind of, you know, like our little version of them. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. So um, we're, are we going to play them? I think well, they need to go a little bit longer, right? You think so? I don't know. What's Cecil say? I, I don't know. He doesn't know how to cook. I don't know, but um, I think the tasting is my favorite part, and that's what I'm going to do next, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm salivating. Yes. Yeah. You know the great thing, it's a, it's a free dinner to go out there, but the thing is to get people to buy some of the things on the auction, yeah. and they got a 50-50 raffle so you could win some money, but all that money goes to local fire uh, fighters and local police. Yeah, it all stays locally. That's fantastic, mm -hmm. and it's a great way to sort of turn tragedy into a nice positive thing for our community. If you want to head out there, doors open this afternoon at 1, and it features live music and that free All-American buffet. The anniversary of September 11th will always be a somber day for many Americans, especially for our police and fire departments. In honor of those who lost their lives that day in the attack, Dead Dog Saloon in Merle's Inlet holds an annual Heroes Benefit. That's where we find WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzit this morning with the preview. Hey, Amanda. That's right. It is a great time to come on out, show your support. A lot of firefighters will be here. Yep. Tons of people from the community are here. Oh, yeah. You've got free food. And speaking of food, um, these are the tender bites we made yeah, earlier. Yeah, they're look, done. It looks like there's a bite missing. I don't know how yeah, that I happened. saw you snacking away <laughs> over there. Honestly, yeah. these are the reason I come yeah. to Dead Dog <laughs> half the time. But 
a great reason it, to come today. I mean, you guys do a lot. And, you know, check out this wall. Tell me a little bit about this wall behind yeah, this. Yeah, um, this is our fire memorial wall. Um, you know, this uh, is the flag of honor, shows all the names of those who passed at, uh, on 9-11 back in 2001. And a lot of this stuff has been donated. Um, you know, we've got some fireman's patches here, but this is kind of something special to us. This is uh, kind of tells the story of what happened with the fire here at Dead Dog. Um, and, you know, how A and I got us rebuilt in 83 days. You can see my dad up there. <laughs> um, we got a poem here that actually was written by uh, one of our uh, servers, Lou Autori, and it speaks of the fire and everything. So, um, you know, this is just kind of the wall we put up to, you know, let everyone know that you know we should never forget what happened, and you know it's a nice little thing that we do. Absolutely, yeah. and, and you know for you guys that the the fire. You know, that was such a hard thing, but you, you've been supporting, you know, firefighters for so many years before mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. But it just keeps on going and really a, a great event today to yeah. come out and show your support. Yeah, thank you. Guys. All right, Amanda Kinseth reporting live for us. Stores open this afternoon at 1 and featuring live music and a free All-American buffet. Well, there will also be live auctions, silent auctions, and a 50-50 drawing. All proceeds will benefit local police and fire departments. Today marks 12 years since the attacks of September 11th, a day many Americans will always remember. In honor of those who lost their lives that day in the attack, Dead Dog Saloon in Merle's Inlet holds an annual Heroes Benefit. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth joins us live there with a preview. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. I'm just doing a little pre-shopping here. We've got all these silent auction items. Yeah that I need to bid on. Can I just start bidding now? Absolutely. <laughs> Get you in guys, early. You guys open up at 11 a.m. today. Doors open at 11, yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. and uh, there's a lot going on. You've got live music pretty yeah. much all day into the evening. Yep, yeah. 10 live bands every hour on the hour, so. Free food. Yep. Yeah. Free food, free Big American buffet. buffet. Yeah, and then 50-50 uh, raffles, and then all this silent auction stuff. Yeah. And people donate all this stuff. This right? all comes from local businesses, individuals. Like I said, this is really a great community event. You know, we, we just provide the venue and, you know, by people donating, it makes, makes it all happen. Yeah, well, a lot of people come out here and, you know, it, it's a good time and it's a great opportunity to maybe meet some of the, the local first responders, the firefighters, yeah, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And tell them, hey, thank you for all you do. Yeah, they'll be out front with the hook and ladder truck, and it's, you know, it's a great great thing to bring the kids out. So. All right, definitely. well, come out here. We'll be going live from here at noon, and yep. doors open at 11. Yep. Guys? Sounds great. Amanda Kinseth reporting live in Merle's Inlet.